Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Hayashi. Welcome back to the University of Mannheim where I'm going to do another psychological demonstration of brain hacking. I'm going to influence another human being's decisions. Uh, we've got, uh, which one's Tim? It's Tim and Mirko. So that's Mirko, that's Tim. They have bravely volunteered for this demonstration. One of you will be the observer, and you're just going to watch to make sure I'm not cheating or doing some magic trick. One of you will have his brain hacked. So who's it going to be? Who wants to have, to have their brain hacked? The Mirko is going to have his brain hacked. Okay, Tim, have a seat. Relax. Enjoy. Okay, let's do this television style. We're, we're standing on a stage. Uh, we're, we're, we're in the Essa Arena, huge auditorium, 10,000 people watching, maybe even... Uh, the super talent, 8 million people are watching. And then we do the show voice, bigger movements, and nice charismatic smile. And I say, Herzlich willkommen, because it would be a German show. And the interesting thing is, if we have a, a big enough stage thing, uh, it's, the manipulation started already. And if you look at the front video, um, the video before this, I'll send the link, there's going to be four anchoring points where um, you didn't see the, the original video that she was watching. No, would you? Because in the last uh, university student experiment, Someone from my other course, Svenja, uh, actually went through this. She's now holding the camera, and you're going to see live what I'm doing. She's actually laughing because I asked her, did you see any of this, which I just did on your body? And she said, no, I didn't even see it. She saw it looking at the video. But you can hear her voice, correct? Yes. I did this to you. I showed you the video where I said I'm doing exactly these four things, and it was invisible. You saw nothing, right? Yes. Okay. Now, just so they can hear you, come, uh, come a little closer so you're loud enough. Loud and clear voice, can you feel anything that I'm doing to you so far? No, not yet. Everything feels natural? Yeah. You still feel like yourself? Yes. But you know I'm hacking your brain already. I could, I could do this, you'll wake up the next morning next to like a dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hold No, no, chill. I won't do that to you, I'll be kind. Now, now that she's seen the video and knows the four anchor points, she actually saw, I'll explain it to you. Here's what I did to you. When I first said, come up now, we're on stage, I didn't even say stand here, I just did this with my hands. <laughs> and because I sort of looked at you like I was in charge and it's my show with a half nod, and I just did this little micro expression on my eyebrows, he followed along. And then I said, the show is now starting and this opens it up, it looks like an official thing. And I said, imagine the auditorium. So he's got this picture of people in his head, da 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 da. And then when I said, I didn't go like this, like a normal handshake to say hi, because you see how your ex is, like hi. I did a show handshake, which is completely different, because in show business, when you watch US president candidates walk out, politicians, they walk out like this. They don't know anybody in the crowd, it's fake. They look into the crowd, they're like, to, to make it look like they have friends and supporters, it's all fake. So uh, on television, it never looks like this, yeah, hello, hi. That's, that's real life. They say, so, we have one brave guest, I'm going to hack his brain, Herzlich willkommen, and uh, what he could feel, because he's a fairly solid guy and I had to give a slight pressure. <laughs> now he's afraid, see? First time he was dancing with me, what the camera didn't see was the two fingers. Can you see that? Can you see the two fingers I had on his arm? Yes. Now, when I got to the side, I closed it up, but I did this at first, and it felt pretty normal. Now, now he's a little afraid, I can feel the tension. <laughs> now, as I do this, there's a tables and his friend sitting there, so he's, he's looking a little bit. But on a large stage, he will walk the entire four or five steps in a half circle from this side to this side. Nobody sees those two fingers. I do not move my feet. And why does it matter? Because guys are already writing under the YouTube comments, what does it even do? It has a double function. One, it allows me to measure the amount of resistance or muscular tension in just that short walk. So I know how susceptible he is to suggestion, how open his mind is to my leading, to my slight and invisible manipulations. And it also begins to open up his mind because as his body moves, his mind moves. You guys understand? When I move his body, I move his mind. When you, psychologists have proven, the most often time we forget what we're doing is when we walk through a door. Every time you say, hey, what did I want? It's after you've walked in one room to another because the visual framing, the physical framing of being in one space to another actually switches the departments in your head. Now what I did is I touched your body in four places, one on the arm, one on the shoulder, one on the back, and one on the back of your head. Did you feel it? Yes, I feel it. <laughs> 
Did you did you hear it from the video? But you yeah, felt yeah, it. Yes, I. Even though we just met today, I don't yeah, know you. No, did it feel weird no. or was it? It was all right. It was, it was all together because it looked. I, I talk with my hands a lot. It was big. I just made a comment like this and turned back and pointed there. It felt natural. Uh, I, I don't even remember what I said. It just flows out of my mouth because I talk a lot. As I got a little bit of a some sort of a reaction, he was smiling. He's nodding. I did like this, and I looked back at the camera. It all felt fine. I repositioned him. Come closer to the camera yeah. so they can hear your voice. I made a joke. He laughed at that. Back. Back of the head. Now, what does this do? This anchoring of those four points gets me physically one stepper, one step closer to that brain hack, brain hack that I want. Now, what we're going to do is going to work on the table with a small experiment, and I'm going to see if I can control your decisions. Okay. You cool with this? It's a brain hack. Yeah. Okay. All right. After that, you'll be fairly normal if I decide to return <laughs> you to normal. So, uh, we have to look at the light. So. That's a joke, man. I just was watching your feed. I wanted to see if you would do it. You did. Look, the light's the same. Yeah. <laughs> All right, have a seat. The experiment begins now. The experiment has one piece of paper. Can the camera see? That's my mysterious piece of paper. Now, Kim, if you like, come behind me, read the paper, but don't say it out loud. Come look. Kim is going to read the paper so later she can prove it's the same paper. I don't change it. Say nothing, just so you see it, okay? It's written in German, right? Yes. I have written one prediction in German on this paper. I will show it to you in just two minutes. Ready? Yep. Here's the experiment using a few of these. Done. Do you know what I have here? <laughs> I think it's a few pens. Or... Yeah, it's a few coins. Yeah. Now, the whole experiment stays here now on, on the table. So as long as you can see him and see what's in my hand, this is the experiment now. How many do I have? I think it's four. <laughs> Let's use invisible coins, imaginary coins, because it's just a, it's a yeah. play experiment. Let's say I have six coins, six German coins in my hand. If I take three, three here, then yeah. here I have three. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> now, to make it super clear, yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah. Let's say I have three coins here and three coins here. Let's imagine that I tell you what the coins are so you know the, the, what's happening. Yeah. Here I have two cent, 20 cent, and two euro. I'll say it in German. Zwei cent, 20 cent, zwei euro stück. Easy to remember, right? In this hand I have one cent, 10 cent, and? One euro. One euro! He's got it, okay? Ein cent, zehn cent, ein euro stück. Yeah. Now, he knows the six different coins I have in my hand. I'm going to give you a free choice. You can choose the group you like, and I will give it to you as a present. But before you choose, I know what the group is thinking, that you will choose this group with the two, the 20, and the, and the uh, two, because it's worth more. It's not. They're invisible. They're not real. So yeah. it's the same value, zero. Free choice. Which group do you want? I will give you the one you choose. You want the two, the two, 20, and two group. Yeah. Okay, in German, trotzdem die zwei Gruppe take it. So it's two cent, 20 cent, two euro. Okay, it was a free choice. Put them on the table in front of you. <laughs> now, open them up so you have three coins in front of you. Yeah. Go ahead. Now, here's the interesting part. I will look out the window. You can mix them in any order you like. Go. <laughs> Is he really doing it? I think I hacked his brain too much already. <laughs> I'm just testing you, bro. It's all right. The manipulation goes on. Take, take, take two of these invisible coins, which are not even there. Take two of them, hold them up for the camera like this. Go ahead. So, really? Choose two. Yeah, do it. Okay. No, don't drop them. Hold them up for the camera. Hold it. Okay. All right. Now, a little higher so the camera can see. Okay. okay. Now, give me one. Give me one. Your choice. He gives a free choice. Give me one. Now. Because it's invisible, we cannot see it. I want you to choose. You decide. You say what coin you've given me here. Free choice. What do you say? Two cents. Two cents? Okay. Now don't drop it. Yeah. Don't drop it. You, you, you still have one in your yeah. hand. Please say, which coin do you have? Uh, two euro. Okay. This is fair so far, right? Now, this leaves one coin very clearly on the table. Yeah. Which one is it? Twenty cents. Twenty cents. Where is it? Somebody. Here, okay. Here comes the, the cool part of the experiment. And for the one girl, Kim, who read the paper, she's getting scared already, right? This is freaky. Watch. 
When I say go, you will take your coin. Which one is it? 20 cents. 20 cents. When I say go, I want you to take your 20 cent coin, throw it in the air, catch it, and when you look at it, I want you to say which side you see. Because every coin has two sides. In English, heads or tails. In German, Kopf oder Zahl. In German, they say heads or numbers. Okay? When I say go, you take your 20 cent coin, flip it, and you choose if the coin is showing heads or tails, Kopf oder Zahl. And it's, it's your free choice. Mm. Got it? Do, do, I say it in German. Do you entscheidest ob die Münze Kopf oder Zahl in sight? Okay? No weird things like which one is touching your skin, which one can we not see, which, which side is looking at. Ready? Okay. Go! Do it, man! <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Head. It's heads. Did everybody hear that? What, what did you say? Head. head. Which okay. coin? 20 cent. He just said the 20 cent coin is showing heads. His choice. She read the paper. She Look at the paper now. I'll, I'll show it. It's right here. He just said the 20 cent coin is showing the heads. Look what I wrote in German. The 20 cent coin is inside. Then call. Exactly what he said. The 20 cent coin will show heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. I don't know. <laughs> it's not magic. This is years of psychological study and training in neuro-linguistic programming techniques to manipulate other people's behavior. Yeah. How does it feel? Weird. It should feel weird, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm controlling your, your behavior. Now, for the camera girl who, who did the other experiment, now that I'm actually explaining a little bit more of the steps behind it, how does it feel? Does it feel weird now, now that I've explained some of the stuff? Yet, what's your feeling? You can, you're, you're just a voice, but you can say, how does it feel? Um, my experience or? Yeah. Is it still recording? Get your voice. Is it still recording? Yes. Same time? Okay. Yeah. How did it feel now that you hear a bit of the explanation behind it? Uh, weird too. It feels weird, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. Any questions, anyone? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to go back and work some more on our, <laughs> our English grammar and vocabulary. Thank you, bro. I release you. You're normal again. Okay. All right. <laughs> this has been a weird psychological experiment. And stop.